Here we go. We arrived to Asakusa Station. It's been a while. Last time we visited Asakusa. Now it's already March, January and February. There were not that many travelers here, but recently they are coming back. If you use the Tokyo Metro, A4 and A5, that would be the closest exit for the Sensoji Temple. Sakura season, which is starting from end of March to April. That would be one of the most popular travel seasons in Japan, so there will be more and more people coming. Today, 11th of March, 13 degrees, 3 meters per second. It became a beautiful day, however, still, compared to the regular years, it is pretty cold though. <laughs> Look at this gashapon. Looks like so asakusa. There's a sushi and also Buddha. What else we have? Oh, that's ninja? It can hide in the desk. Plus, oh, that's the bell of the temple. <laughs> yep. Yes, this is one of the most popular Japan travel spot. Oh, look at this restaurant. They have the happy hour. The glass beer is only 300 Japanese yen. That's pretty good deal. It's the Motsu, which is the interesting hot pot restaurants. Looks great. Happy hour sale is not that popular in Japan yet, but recently I'm seeing many happy hour sale. It's like the Halloween, you know, like 10 years ago. Halloween wasn't that popular in Japan, but now it's the one of the biggest event. So many new culture is coming. I am always enjoying the new culture. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Senokyo. All right, so let's keep walking. When we see the Kannon Dori Shoten Gai, we can just turn left and the Sensoji Temple is just over there. Oh my goodness, it's the weekday. Wow, so many people. I could expect that though. It's not spring break yet in Japan. However, for college student, already it's the spring break. So that's the reason why maybe there are more students. Also, many travelers. It must be super crowded. Before checking there, let's go check from the higher place. Yep, there is an observatory in front of the Sensoji Temple. It's the Asakusa Tourist Information Center. In the 8th floor, there is the observatory we can see. This is the mobile battery rendering. Recently, I've seen in many places, for example in Konbini, even I see it in the Universal Studios Japan too. Price is 165 Japanese yen, and the 30 minutes you can rent. And what is this? Oh, interesting. That's the mobile Wi-Fi rental, really? It's my first time to see that. Yeah, but it makes sense. Seems like it costs 440 Japanese yen per day. Huh, not bad at all, huh? So viewing deck is in the 8th floor. There's cafe too. Let's go by the elevator. Let's keep walking. Here's the cafe. Oh my goodness, I didn't know it's the cafe Ryun. Yeah, it is same with my name, the Ryun. The pronunciation is different though. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, sweet. It's the Tokyo Sky Tree. That's the great view, but uh, scary too, though. How about the view of Sensoji Nakamise Street? Seems like it's so crowded, but uh, still better compared to the New Year last time I visited. By the way, you see the tower over there. That's the place, the Hanayashiki, which is the oldest theme park in Japan located. Today, we are heading there too. Oh, sweet. We have the camera spot. Yeah. This angle, maybe better. We have the exhibition center and the downstairs. Let's go check there too. Let's go. 
Oh, I didn't know that 15th of March is the day of the shoes. The birthday of Japanese shoes industry. Interesting. So here we can learn so many things about shoes, I believe. So shoes came in 1872, which is about 150 years ago, huh? As you guys know, Japanese samurai didn't wear the shoes. They are wearing like a slippers called waraji. So the shoes wasn't popular in Japan beforehand. What do we have in the downstairs? It's the theater place. Seems like no English translation so. Fifth floor, fourth floor, third floor. That's the conference center. So let's go to the second floor. Let's keep walking. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, interesting. This place, everyone is writing the small review of Asakusa restaurant and the shop. There is paper and the pen. By the way, the review in Japanese called Kuchikomi. Kuchikomi. Oh, there is a review of Asakusa Menchi. It says Baka Umai. This one also as well. <laughs> and this cute one, it says Hanayashiki Saiko. Yes, Hanayashiki is the oldest amusement park in Japan. And that's the place we are heading to today. Oh, here is the Japanese traditional toy. This one called Kendama. Oh my goodness, I used to play this when I was a kid. Let me see. Oops. Hi. <laughs> you know, it's the left hand. I'm not the left handy, so maybe I can do better. Never mind. So this one is the also popular traditional toy called Daruma Otoshi. You hit the bottom and uh, you can't break the top one. So let me try. Oh, oh. <laughs> let me do it again. All right, one more time. Maybe I can, you know, hit slowly and then one, two, three. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, trust me, it's much harder than what it looks like. Oh, look at that. That's a huge kumade. It's the traditional lucky charm, especially for the merchant. Many people buying it and place it in the shop. That's a huge one. Oh, I didn't know that. There is a charging spot as well. So if you need to charge the battery, you can charge it here with the beautiful view. You don't have to pay money neither. Hope this could be the travel tip for your next Japan trip. There are more and more travel stretch update is coming, so if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Goal of 2024, hitting 200,000 subscribers. So I need your help. Arigato everyone, and arigato for subscribing the channel. Let's keep walking. There's money exchange as well. Let's keep walking. It's just in front of the Sensor Temple. However, many people miss this place. So if you visit here, don't forget to visit this place as well. Let's go to the Sensor Temple. Now we are in Kaminari Mon Gate. This is one of the most popular picture spot in Japan. Always so many people here. It's the huge lantern. And the bottom of the lantern, there is a cool picture too, so don't forget to check the picture as well. Okay, so let's go to the Nakamise Street. It looks super crowded, but trust me, it's still better because most of the school spring break hasn't started yet. But from the next week, spring break will start and this place will be more crowded. Yep. Oh, uh, here we can buy ningyo yaki separately with 80 Japanese yen. Let's get it. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> they are making. That's so cool. Fresh made. <laughs> Sweet. So I got the bird shaped one. Price is 80 Japanese yen. It is still warm, but one thing we have to be careful is that we can't eat it in the Nakamisa street, so we need to go to the back street. It's the bird shape, ningyo meaning figure, so 
it's the cooked figure. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't make sense. Anyways, いただきます。うん。めっちゃ美味しい。Very fluffy pancake inside sweet ribbon paste, perfect with green tea. Yeah, traditional sweet. Here they are saying the cold green tea with 200 Japanese yen, but maybe, 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 maybe we can save money. <laughs> Let's keep walking forward to the Sensoji Temple. Oh, that's nure okaki, one of my favorite snack as well. Compared to the regular rice cracker, this one is more crunchy. They have different kinds of taste. Let's get the spicy one. Okay. So, we can place the steamy pepper on top. Itadakimasu! Sweet! Yep, we need to go to Back Street to eat. You know, some places have a place to eat, but most of the places they don't have the place to eat. So, you have to go to the Back Street and eat. Anyways, so, itadakimasu. This one is called Nure Okaki. So, anyways, itadakimasu. Mm. The soy sauce is really soaked into the rice cracker, so that's why it's crunchy. Perfectly matches with the steamy pepper. Mm. A little bit spicy, but not that too spicy. So, even you can't eat something spicy, maybe you like it. Alright, so let's keep walking toward to Sensoji Temple. Speaking of Asakusa snack, this Kaminari Okoshi is also the popular snack as well. So if you never try, maybe you can try it too. Oh my goodness, look at this Drymon Castera. <laughs> so cute. Maybe it's because of the beautiful day today. All the store is opening. Sometimes, you know, some store is closing during the pandemic. Most of the store is closing, but now, yep, fully back. Finally, we arrive in front of the gate of Sensoji Temple. It took a while to come over here because it was so crowded. This place too. There is the picture on the bottom of the lantern. <laughs> Wait, a you know, always there is a oi ocha green tea stand over there, and then you could drink free green tea. But it seems like it's already gone. Well, you could drink the free green tea over here, but uh, yeah, not anymore. It is very crowded, but still, you don't have to be in line to enter the main building. So, it's okay, huh? It is saying that if you get the smoke to your head, you will be smarter. So that's why many people <laughs> try to get it to the head. Inside, there is a huge Buddha. Unfortunately, I can't film it inside for the respect. Most of the shrine for the main building, you can't film inside. Anyways, let's go to the Hanayashiki. Yep. That one over there. In front of you, that's five stories pagoda. In Japanese, called Goju no To. Goju no To. Goju meaning 50. However, it means five layers, slash five stories. So that one called Goju no To. To meaning tower. In each video, I give you a small Japanese lesson too. So if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe so that you will not miss my new video and the surprise live stream too. So let's keep walking. Let's go through the arcade. Seems like this arcade too. It's super crowded. Oh, interesting. That's the imitation sword store and also the Japanese tra traditional play. Maybe kabuki stuff too. And uh, yeah, this is the one I was talking about. Before the shoes get popular in Japan, people are wearing this. Geta? Uh, waraji? Even nowadays, whenever we wear the yukata or kimono, we usually wear this. This tatami one is soft, so it's okay. But uh, if you are getting the wood one, 
if you don't get used to wearing it, it will hurt your foot a lot. So you gotta be careful. Well, the arcade seems super popular. However, this side of the arcade seems like not that popular much, huh? So this is the way to go to Hanayashiki. Let's keep walking. Here, there are many small drinking places. It's a local street. Here we go, finally we arrived to Hanayashiki. Believe it or not, this is my very first time to enter here. It is a popular and a traditional place, but you know, it's just old, so I thought it's not that fun, but we will see today. Let's explore inside. Seems like they have the event now. We can ride three rides and the entrance fee costs 2,100 Japanese yen. Why not? Let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's interesting. Yeah. So I got the three ride ticket. We can pick the three ride. I think that one would be good because we can see the park from the higher place. Speaking of the ride, it is classic, but I don't feel that old. Maybe, you know, they renewing and renewing and renewing. Uh, seems like the snack for the koi fish, it's sold out. But I'm wondering if there is a koi fish here. <laughs> seems like they are having fun. Okay, so first, why don't we ride that so that we can see from the top? I believe this is the way to go. So I believe the ride must be the sky ship. If you don't have the ticket, you can buy the, the four ticket. One costs 100 Japanese yen, so for one ride, 400 Japanese yen. Let's go. There is a helicopter too, but I think this sky ship will be more fun. Sweet! Alright, let's go. Oh my goodness, it's kind of scary. <laughs> As you can see, yes, the size of the park is only this much. From the entrance over there until the building over here. It is small, but there are so many rides. I think around 10 rides here. Very interesting. But I assume most of the rides is for small kids. So if you have small kids, maybe it would be fun. But for adults, maybe it's interesting. Ah, we can see the Goju no To and also the Asahi headquarters plus Tokyo Sky Toy beautifully. Loving it. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that was the small ride. We still have roller coaster and the scary house. So let's see. That's the one. I believe they go around the park. Seems like not that long line now. So why not? Let's be in line. It says it will take 60 minutes from here. But uh, there is no line here. So I believe it's much faster. Roller coaster since 1953. 70 years history. Wow, that's pretty long. Seems like they have only one coaster. And uh, probably we can ride the next the next one. If you get the separate ticket, it takes seven tickets. That means 700 Japanese yen to ride on it. Yep. This coaster is just over there. Yep, it is a very classic coaster. Unfortunately, I can't film it, so I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> that was fun, but not that scary though. As you guys know, I love roller coaster, and I believe this is the shortest roller coaster that I've ever ride it. Basically, they are going up and down around the park. It is interesting because we can see so many places in Asakusa, but uh, not that scary, definitely. But I believe that's the oldest roller coaster I've ever ride, so I think it works it. <laughs> One time is enough, though. Anyway, so let's keep walking. Let's see what else we have. 
What do we have here? Is this going toward to the scary house? Cave. By the way, cave in Japanese called Dokutsu. Dokutsu. <laughs> okay, now I know where I am. You see, that's the entrance of roller coaster, and uh, we are here. Oh my goodness, that's so classic ride. When I was a kid, I used to love this ride. This is how it looks like. I used to see many team park had this, but uh, recently, not anymore. Very classic one. It is really fun though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looks pretty fun, right? What else we have? And those are the Matsuri area. I guess that's it. Also, it's the Ninja Park. Probably that's kind of like a playground for kids. Also, that's a Chambara house. I think it's like the sword activity for kids. So I guess this is the scary house. Interesting. It's the house of surprise. Well, you know, this kind of classic place, the scary house is not that scary. So today, why don't we ride on the house of surprise? Yeah, because I have no idea what it looks like. So why not? Let's ride it. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> So in the house, there is a seat and a turning and turning and turning. And it's kind of surprising and interesting as well. However, if you have the kind of motion sickness, definitely this is not the ride that you want to ride. But it was interesting though. I love trying something new and something interesting. Well, if you don't have the pass, it costs 400 Japanese yen. I'm not sure if it works for the Japanese yen or not, but uh, yeah, definitely it is interesting. What is this place? Goriyaku Yokocho? Interesting. Let's go check. Oh, wait. There's a newer scary house. Yeah, this place much newer. I don't have any more ticket though. Maybe next time, to be honest. But I don't like the scary house much because it is scary. So, <laughs> maybe. I am lucky. Oh, and also, I think that's a relatively new ride. Panorama Time Travel. You can learn history with the panorama view, I believe. Yeah. And here, it's the gaming area. Newer area is just right next to the exit, so if you are visiting here, Hanayashiki, don't forget to visit here. And especially if you are buying the limited ticket, you gotta be careful too. Anyways, let's keep walking. And that's it. It's the Gachapon Square. They have so many different kinds of Gachapon. <laughs> Look at this Gachapon, the break first Gachapon. Interesting. <laughs> and there's Natto here too. Oof. That was fun. Now, let's walk toward to the Tokyo Sky Tree. I wanna get some drink. Now, there is the warm one and the cold one. But uh, I believe after a month from now, probably we can find the hot hour now. <laughs> Cafe away. Ah, my favorite things to do in winter is drinking warm drink and walking in the cold weather. Yeah, I will miss that. But uh, yeah, definitely I prefer summer though because it's too cold. <laughs> Anyways, the spring is coming. I'm so happy the summer is coming too. So let's keep walking. Tokyo Sky 3 having spring festival. <laughs> it will light it up with Sakura color. 
One thing you have to be careful is that uh, this Nakamise Street stores close much earlier compared to the other places. So if you're visiting here and you want to enjoy this atmosphere, make sure to come over here, not in the night time. In the night time, the store is closed and this place will be much fewer people. But the Sensor Temple is really beautiful in the night time too. So you can enjoy the different kinds of atmosphere now. From here to Tokyo Sky 3, you can technically walk. It's about 15 to 20 minutes. So not that bad. So goodbye and see you soon, Asakusa. You need to cross the bridge. There is Asahi headquarters and also the Tokyo Sky Tree. I love the view from here. There is a train, river, also Sky Tree. It is beautiful. It's the golden form. Yeah. Everyone can realize it's the form, not something else. It's the art. <laughs> Seems like they are getting ready for the adventure. It used to be all Mario Kart, but now, as you can see, it's the just a cosplay card. I like that Mount Fuji cosplay the best. <laughs> it must be warmer too. In order to drive that, you need an international driver's license. Well, it's kind of bother to take one, but it must be very hard, so I believe it's worth it. You can just keep walking in this big street. There are many stores, so it is fun to walk too. Oh, look at that! Interesting! They have this small bonsai here. Huh. This one is Sakura tree. Sweet. Isn't it amazing? That tiny tree will have the small sakura. Now my apartment is super messy, but after cleaning it up, I will get one. And uh, you know, every spring comes and uh, there is a small sakura on the desk. Yeah, that's in my bucket list. Here we go, almost there. It hasn't lighted up yet. Today's light up will start from 6.30. Oh, what's going on to this park? There is a ship and uh, it was a playground for the kids. But uh, now it seems like they are renewing. Probably we will have the better one. There is a slide. It was a fun place though. Oh, look at that. There is Sakura already. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. They have the different kinds of sakura, so those sakura hasn't bloomed yet, but uh, this sakura is already blooming and it uh, seems like it's almost gone. So let's enter the Tokyo Soramachi shopping street. There are so many bentos they are selling. That's yakitori too. Huh, this egg looks pretty good. There is a food court. I'm hungry. Let's get something to eat. Oh, that's Thai food. It looks pretty good. And that's a Chinese food. Barbecue, yakiniku. But I ate yakiniku last time, so... Haven't eat oyakodon for a while. Let's eat oyakodon. All right, seems like it's ready. Sweet, looks pretty good. I was starving. I think I could find a very good place. It's the corner, so that no one care about me. I was planning to eat in Asakusa, but it was too crowded. So probably this place better. Anyways, so let's eat. Never mind. <laughs> Anyways, let's eat. Itadakimasu. There is a chicken. It's like the oyakodon. Egg and chicken. And this part is the chicken cut on it. It must be good. Itadakimasu. Mm. It's Even it's in the food court, but nice charcoal flavor. A little bit sweet. I love it. Mm. And the time for the cutlet. Pork cutlet is popular. 
but chicken cutlet is also popular too. Mm. It's all good. It is really crispy, really good with egg. Speaking of the oyakodon or yakitori, the charcoal flavor is really important. Some restaurant has the charcoal flavor in it, and some restaurant doesn't have. I love the chicken with the charcoal flavor. So if you never try the yakitori and the oyakodon, make sure to try the restaurant with the charcoal flavor. Yeah, that tastes much better. Mm. Speaking of the oyakodon, it is really popular food to cook in Japan. So I cook many times as well. But uh, whenever I eat in the restaurant, I try to eat it with the restaurant with charcoal flavor. Because it's something that you can do it at your house and it tastes much better. So if you never tried that oyakodon without charcoal flavor before, definitely you got to try it again. This comes with miso soup. The price? 1,300 Japanese yen for set menu, including the drink. Well, before, I felt like it is expensive. However, because of the inflation occurring in Japan, yeah, that's shogunai. So this is how much you are expecting to pay if you are visiting Japan eating in the food port. Well, I know still much better compared to the other countries, but uh, thinking about before, we could eat it with 600 and 700 Japanese yen. Yeah, everything is getting more expensive. <laughs> I am so happy. Yeah. Let's keep walking. Oh, the kaldi here. I want to find the caramel sauce. Here we go. I could find the caramel sauce. It is kind of hard to find the caramel sauce in Japan. This perfectly matches with coffee. My favorite drink, caramel latte. Recently, my favorite thing to do is making caramel latte at home. It is almost 6.30, so the sakura light up will start soon. Let's go outside. We still have 10 more minutes, so let's explore this Japan souvenir street. Hello Kitty Japan. Marble store, Spider-Man. And of course, Gacha Pawn Shop. And a Jump Shop. Luffy! And the most popular shop, Pokemon Center. Look at that! <laughs> cool. Pikachu! And the Kirby as well. <laughs> Sweet. The Raimon shop. Sweet, it's always great meeting with you guys. Hello, are you guys ready? Yep. Soon. Okay. <laughs> Loving it. If you see me on the street, don't forget to go to me so that I can realize you are the viewer. So see you in Japan. All right, it's almost the time. Let's go check Tokyo Sky 3. Here we go. According to the information on the internet, this one changes to the color of Sakura at 6.30, which is 4 minutes and 30 seconds from now. Let's wait. All right, it's 3, 2, 1, and... <laughs> wait. Well, <laughs> seems like it doesn't change. Yeah, it says Sakura light up from 6.30, but seems like no Sakura light up. Oh, wait! Oh, <laughs> I think they changed the color and then now it's the Sakura light up. It was only the white color, but now it becomes pink. Yeah, can't really see much. Probably it's better to see from the far place. Let's go to the far place so that maybe we can see the light up better. Oh, so here we can see it better. It's this Sakura color, huh? Well, but I was, you know, expecting the kind of like project mapping. <laughs> yeah, that's how it looks like. Anyways, that's something special for spring. <laughs> that's it. I was expecting the much, you know, beautiful one. It's like a project mapping one. So to be honest, I was a little bit disappointed about it. That's Shogarai. So if you are looking forward to the Sakura Light Up Tokyo Sky 3, 
that's how it looks like. Don't expect that much. It is beautiful though. Anyways, so through this video, hopefully you could see the Japan turbo situation and also the Japan's oldest amusement park, Hanayashiki, how it looks like. Hope this video will help for your next Japan trip or you feel like virtual travel to Japan through this video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It will really encourage me to keep shooting videos. Also, there are more videos are coming, so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel too. Big thank you to all of my Patreons! If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account! Alright, so see you in the next video! Se no gao! <laughs> Have a great day! Bye bye! Whew. Right now, it is 11 degrees, but the 4 meter per second wind feels like a little bit cold now. Since we are here, let's go to the Sakura Color Tokyo Sky Tree again. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Oh, wait, I just turned it off. What's going on? Maybe the Sakura light up finished? Or they have some special lights up? Oh, seems like now it's shining. So maybe it's like the show? Oh, it go back to the regular color. So maybe that was the limited one. Yeah, now it go back to the regular color. Well, it was a bit different than what I expected, but probably that was the limited color and that I should have appreciated more. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm happy that I could share it with you guys. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that too. See you soon. Wait, I totally forgot. There was a request in the comment section. Please share the how many steps I work. So today's step was about 7,500 steps from the starting until the end. Yeah, today it was not that much though. I always read the comment. So if you have any request, type it in the comment section. So see you soon.